Well, a field on the northeast side of the city near Converse is becoming a zoning battleground. And here's a look at it. Dozens of neighbors are opposing the idea of turning the area into an industrial zone. This heads to city council in the coming months. But as the I teams Jordan Elder tells us, attorneys say this could be a sign of future challenges as the city grows and expands. I am calling to oppose. I oppose the rezoning. So again, I say no. Please do not pass this. Those are just a few of the We're dozens speeding. of voicemails. Would you want this in your backyard? And, and in-person speeches opposing a plan to rezone this 35 acre field. It's the site of a proposed big rig service facility on the northeast side. You can see it backs up to a lot of homes, including Scott Hardwick's. And they would put their own fencing here that would come uh, and abut my fence line. He worries about if his yard will flood up against the proposed concrete wall. He it worries about noise impacting what's currently a quiet neighborhood. Um, and so you're getting engines running, you're getting horns beeping, um, you're getting backup signals all during the day. Um, and so that would be a major change. Here's a look at the facility. Residents say they know this is a prime spot at I-10 in Loop 1604, but they'd rather the land be used for something that benefits more people, like a grocery store or shopping center. A heavy industry when right next to a subdivision makes absolutely no sense. Bill Kaufman is an attorney representing the apartment complex bordering this property. Yeah, lots of houses being built on that side of town. The east side for many, many years has complained that all they get is the industrial uses. The good news is there is a process. The process is you've got to go make your case. We we paid attention to what their real concerns were. Which is what uh, representatives for Doggett Freightliners, the company proposing the rezoning, got to do last week. Everything is done in indoors. Uh, mostly everything is components. Uh, we don't take broken or wrecked rigs. These are these. This is service only. But the zoning commission voted against the plan. It's now expected to head to city council in September. Kaufman says this case could be a sign of what's to come for other zoning cases on the far ends of San Antonio. It's just the way it is as the city grows and progresses. Claudia Ayers tells us she hopes other neighborhoods don't end up in a situation like this one and gives this message to city leaders. City council really needs to start planning for their grandchildren. For the News 4i team, I'm Jordan Elder.